When you build a 2x2 two two in Rust, does it end up looking pretty bland and empty like this? Well, if you want to fix that and build something a little bit better, more efficient, and compact overall, I'd recommend sticking around so you can build this. This is the most efficient 2x2 two two in Rust. It has tons of storage, up to 5 bags, a locker, a repair bench, workbench, 3 furnaces, basically anything you could ask for in a Rust 2x2. Two two. Obviously, it's just a simple 2x2 two two, so you can expand on it however you'd like. And with that, let's get right into how to build it. Obviously, the first thing you need to do is to lay out your 2x2, two two, just like this. And the next important question is, how do you want your airlock? Some people prefer it on the right going in, and some prefer it on the left going in. Uh, I prefer it on the right, just because I find it a little bit harder to get deep on, but if you prefer the other way, you can always just mirror the whole base. Once you have your airlock down, you can add your walls, and your ceiling. Make sure your doors are both facing inwards. And the next big question is, what do you want your layout to be? This is a very common F-shape layout, and then this is the U-shape layout, which is a little bit stronger, but it's a little bit harder to lay everything out, and strength isn't too important on a 2x2 two two, since you can just splash the roof if you really want to rate it. For your TC, you want it facing the wall like this, not facing where I'm standing right now. That allows you to place a box here, and it's a little bit more efficient with your box placements. Make sure this box is right in the corner, and then you can lay another one perpendicular to it right here. And this last one, you can put it right here and shove it right up against the TC. You should still be able to place this door frame here. And before we do that, we're going to go back around to the other side of the base and build the shelf from the outside. Follow the steps here, and you should be able to place a triangle through the wall. If you're not able to place it, it might be due to bad TC placement on the inside. Once you have your shelf here, you can hop on top and place a large box just like this against that back wall. Now for the second box, I'd recommend placing a piece of twig here just so it's a little bit easier to place. This one you definitely have to wiggle around a little bit, but you can definitely place it down. And then you can also squeeze a small box up here and I'd recommend placing another large box to make that placement easier. And then finally, you can place a horizontal small box here, put your wall frame, and then you can go ahead and add a garage door or a double door, depending on what you have. Obviously, you eventually want a garage door. And if you placed everything else correctly, you should be able to place a small box right there. Now that your loot room's done, we can move on to the next section of the base. We're going to start off with our workbench in this back corner. Obviously, it doesn't need to be a tier 3, but there's plenty of room for it. And don't forget your small box under there. And you can also squeeze a campfire in this corner. Not too much use for this since there will be a barbecue, but if you're in the cold, it's pretty nice to have or at nighttime for some extra light. Now you can fit three furnaces over here. And you should be able to still place your wall frame. And then a locker should just squeeze in the remaining space. Don't forget to lock your locker, it's good practice. And you can fit five or six bags here depending on how you place them. Uh, I wouldn't recommend living in a two by two with five or six players, but if you find yourself in this situation, the base does allow for it. You can even fit one in the airlock if you really need one more. Now you can place your wall frame in your garage door. And now we just have this last loot room here to build. Start with a half height floor. And then place two large boxes with a barbecue in the middle, as I do here. Now you can grab your small boxes. And in the middle section here, we're going to place down our repair bench with two small boxes in the middle. Obviously, if you don't want this here, uh, you can put it outside whenever you need to repair anything or just place it down and pick it up. But I find this pretty easy to still open everything and it doesn't really get in the way too much. So I prefer it. As you can see, you can still open everything very easy.
up on the second shelf. Again, we're gonna do the same layout, but with no barbecue. Then put a small box in the middle and two small boxes on each end like this. Now all you have to do is place your wall frame. And if you can't place it, you're probably gonna have to pick up the repair bench, place that down and you can just put it right back. Pop your garage door on. And finally, I'd recommend putting a campfire here. You can turn it on and check your comfort to see if there's anyone door camping you. If it's above 50%, that means there's another player outside. And once you have that built, the whole base is done. Now there are a few things you can change. You can place a research table in the place of two of the furnaces, but this is how I prefer to have it. Now with all that done, you might be worried about how cheap it is to raid. Now obviously it's 2x2, two two, so you can go ahead and honeycomb it however you'd like, you can upgrade it, uh, have the core armored, put armored doors on, or you can go ahead and full-fledged build it into your main base for the wipe. There's plenty of tutorials on YouTube, and I do plan on making my own pretty soon with a much better shooting floor and overall base design using the same core. So with that, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video.